Well, it looks pretty beautiful out mm -hmm. there, but you know what? It's scary seeing frost on the ground, Sean. Yeah, we yeah. had some this yeah. morning. <laughs> uh, we've had some several this morning here uh, across central Indiana. So uh, Anne Marie was kind enough to snap a picture. A little scary for you, eh? A little eh? scary. Okay. Yes, I was out there and I was just trying to think, oh, I feel like I'm on a tropical <laughs> island, right? Just keep telling yourself that. Well, you keep, you keep, it, keep it for the next several months. That'll, <laughs> that will eventually get you into spring here. Yeah, this is the vantage point from Anne Marie. We appreciate she was an early riser here and snapped this shot uh, as expected. It was a frosty start here across central Indiana, but we're making up for it. Plenty of sunshine. And our camera down in Nashville right now, beautiful, beautiful vantage point from the Leaf camera in Brown County. Get down there and enjoy. Uh, we're going to have some uh, nice conditions here, uh, at least in terms of color. We're going to start to accelerate that over the next week or so. This is going to be our brightest day that we're going to have until early next week. I can tell you that clouds are going to be on the increase. Here's the view from uh, downtown as we look upon Lu Lucas Oil Stadium. 47 right now. Uh, the wind is not much of a factor in terms of speed, but it is from a dry direction. And notice the humidity at 59%. And uh, we've got 49 Shelbyville, 48 in Brookville, pushing 50 Bloomington, 53 in Bedford at this hour. I mentioned that we'll, we'll peak out in the middle 50s. But again, if you have kids that have outdoor plans, you're going to have to take your coats because the temperatures will drop rapidly. Right around 7 o'clock, we'll be dropping right into the 40s and we'll continue to slide down. Now, may not be um, as widespread of frost tomorrow morning because we will have a little cloud cover, but it's going to be equally as chilly. We're going to see temperatures starting out in the uh, middle 30s. Here's your FFA forecast for the nearly 70,000 that are in town here to enjoy our city. It won't be as bright tomorrow, though I think we will have some sunshine for the early hours. It won't last long. Uh, by the time we get toward the afternoon, it's going to be mainly cloudy, but mainly dry. And we're counting down the days until uh, the monumental marathon in our city. Not a bad training day tomorrow. If you've got to run to get planned here, the wind is not going to be too strong. It will be steady, 510. And uh, the cloud cover will be with us in the afternoon, too, and temperatures in the lower 50s. So uh, a real nice training day. Here's the planner for future track 13. This is noontime, so clouds on the increase. They'll likely be the mid-high level variety, thicken up a bit, but unlikely that we're going to see even a sprinkle tomorrow. And we'll keep it uh, dry. Now, that changes tomorrow night and changes going into Friday. We've been circling that as our next uh, arrival point for some showers, and I think future track 13 actually underselling how much coverage that we're going to have and unfortunately we're talking for the third week in a row there will be some showers to dodge for operation football clouds around and temperatures that will be in the 40s for these football games the sectionals that we have here on friday the cloud cover and the chill and the dampness will carry into the weekend now saturday may not necessarily be a complete washout but i think clouds will win out the war in the sky and that will keep our temperatures in check. We'll have to keep in a shower chance for Saturday. This is Halloween weekend for a lot of folks. Sunday right now, especially afternoon, evening, looks likely that we're going to have showers around. Part of this system that we've been telling you about since Sunday is going to be spinning over central Indiana. It will eventually break down. That does not happen until Monday afternoon. And fingers crossed that for Halloween next Wednesday, we will keep it breezy, keep it dry and temperatures in the mid-50s.